All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So I have here another golf ball review, uh, and I have this Wilson Boost. They're basically, they're one of the cheapest golf balls that you can buy. You can get this from Walmart for only $9.99, so a little less than a dollar a piece. What I'm gonna do today, I'm just gonna test it out around the green. I'm gonna putt with them, and then I'm gonna take it out in the simulator and see how they perform. come in a 12 pack so a very good value and inside here there should be like four sleeves of three balls each um, and this only costs $9.99 you can get it at your local Walmart store let's open it up so you should get four little packs four sleeves just a quick look here high velocity engineer extreme distance so we want to check that out on the simulator durable cover for increased playability so uh, let's look at the the actual ball and see how they look and how they feel so this is what you get um, the feel is a little hard uh, just like most uh, budget balls so they're gonna be a little hard uh, I'm gonna test it out around the greens and see if they actually can check but uh, the feel is pretty hard I would say so i hit a few around the green from the bunker and yeah you, you can tell they're they're hard for sure i think what was good about this is that the cover is pretty thick so it's going to be a little less than a uh, it's not going to be like a range ball but overall i would say it's not that bad so obviously it's not going to be as good as a premium ball uh but what i gotta say is like if you hit it really good though it's still going to check a little so it's not going to be um as bad as a range ball uh, but if you don't hit it very good uh it's going to tend to roll out a little more than what it should so i'm gonna grab my putter and i'm gonna test it out in the putting green and see how they feel Okay, so I put quite a few there with the Wilson Boost and I have to be honest, uh, I think this is where you see the difference. Uh, I did not feel the sweet spot. You know when you hit the ball and you feel the nice click, the nice uh, sound when you hit it uh, right off the center. Uh, you did not feel that with this one. So I think that's where you would struggle the most with these balls. If you compare them to a premium ball like a Pro V1, or any other premium ball, you can definitely feel the difference. It's much softer, this one right here. And this is hard. Uh, the only problem that I see right now is just the putting. On the putting with the with the Pro V1s or any premium ball, you can definitely feel the, the sweet spot when you hit it. Okay, so now I'm gonna try it out with the Mibo Plus. I have a nine iron. I have the Wilson Booster. And I'm gonna take a few shots and see what happens. Uh, make sure to pay attention to the spin numbers because obviously with these balls these budget balls that are hard the spin number is going to be very low uh, so even if you get a decent distance uh, it's going to skip through the green so you're not going to get as much a spin with budget balls so make sure like if you go out in the course uh, be aware of that so i have a nine iron i'm going to hit a few shots and see what uh see what happens okay that felt pretty good So the distance wasn't that bad. The spin numbers just slightly low, but it's a, you know, with a new ball, you're always gonna get a good distance, I think. So th this was a pretty good shot. Let's hit a few more. Okay, this is a little heavy. So it's gonna get less distance. 131, spin still there. So I think with the irons, these balls are now bad. You, you don't feel it as the Pro B ones or some of the premium balls, but uh, it just when you hit it on the sweet spot, it's, it doesn't feel as good as the other balls, I have to say. But it's not bad at all, I would say. I think it could be a good ball for a simulator. Okay, 
All right. This is pretty good. The feeling after after you hit a few, I think you start to notice that it doesn't feel as good as the other ones, as the premium bowl. Okay. I'll pull a little bit. It carry a lot this one, but be careful with these balls right here because look at the spin. It's 2,900. That means that that ball is just going to skip through the green, so it's not going to it's not going to land softly on the green. So um, I would just be careful when you hit these balls far. If they if they go a little far or low trajectory, they start losing a lot of spin, especially with a nine iron. So. Okay, so pretty good distance, I would say. The spin number is just slightly low, I would say. For 9-iron, I think ideal will be like 5,000, 6,000. If I grab a Pro B1 ball and, uh, and I hit the same shot, just watch the spin numbers on this one. They go lower because the, the feel is softer on this one. So. Got yeah, totally a different feel. And if you look at this, they start going up. That was 15, almost 1600 there. So with the Pro V1s, the balls are going to land and going to stay there. With the Bojo balls, even if you get a, a decent distance, they're going to tend to skip away a little bit. Okay, so we saw that the spin numbers were a little low with the 9 iron with the Wilson booster. I have a 5 iron. I, I'm going to see if I can uh, get pretty good distance with it and and see what happens to the spin number so normally i carry like 185 to 195 with my five iron if i hit it well obviously all right this is pretty good a little little baby draw there 191 so pretty good distance this wasn't bad i would say for me not 191 is very good so Okay, this is a little low. 178, a little low. The spin is quite low for a lone iron. Okay, so I hit a nine iron and I hit a five iron. Uh, for the nine iron, uh, you can see that the spin numbers are quite low. And that could be a problem because it may skip through the green. But um, I don't think that could be, it's not a huge problem, I would say. Uh, as far as the distance, I didn't see any difference. I think it's about the same. Uh, like I said on many of my videos, if you play with a new ball, you're always going to get more distance. I think the problem is when the ball starts to deteriorate, it starts to get really, really old and wear out. That's when the distance drops, in my opinion. So, And the 5 iron, I think it wasn't that bad. Uh, pretty good distance. The spin numbers were lower there as well compared to Pro V1. And that also depends on, the, on how soft the greens are. Obviously, if you play with hard greens and you're hitting into the green with a 5 iron, uh this this uh this ball here is just gonna skip away so uh, that depends on where you play but i don't i don't think it's is that bad this ball is not completely bad the only downside for me right now is the putting the putting for me was really really i did not feel the sweet spot here i felt it somewhat not as good as the probably ones but it was a little more difficult to feel the sweet spot but uh, it wasn't bad at all all right so let's try the driver and see what kind of distance we get with this All right, feeling wasn't very good, I have to tell you. Uh, 223 carry, so it wasn't the greatest. The feeling, I think it's like the putting, you don't really feel it that good, so. But it's pretty straight. It's not uh, not as good as the Pro V1s, I have to say. The, the ball speed was a little higher on the Pro V1 or ABX. Hit another one. Okay, this was struck pretty good, I would say. 228. I have a Pro V1 right here. I'm gonna show you that the ball speed is just a little higher on those premium balls, especially with the driver. With the irons are about the same, I think. So I don't know why with the driver, the ball speed just drops. Because the ball is really hard. I think that's that's the problem. So let me get, let me hit this Pro V1.
Okay, so unfortunately I lost the audio here, but if you can look at the ball speed, it's 146, so and it's slightly higher than the Wilson. I would say you probably lose like from like five to ten yards with um, with the budget Wilson balls. All right, guys. So that was it for the review of the Wilson Boost uh, golf balls. A uh, little hard. It's a two-piece ball. Around the greens, it was pretty good. Uh, with the irons, was actually not bad not bad at all a little low spin on those shorter irons the i think the best it was with longer irons because uh, the spin didn't matter and uh, you can hit some long shots but then it come to the driver the driver um it was kind of hard to feel the sweet spot and the distance drop a little bit i would say about about 10 yards and the putting as well the putting was really it was kind of hard to feel the sweet spot on the putting so in conclusion i would say this ball is not bad uh, the only issue is in the green when you're putting uh, you're gonna you're not gonna feel it's not gonna feel very good it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna struggle finding the sweet spot or feeling the sweet spot and then the driver uh, with the driver you're gonna lose a little distance and again it's gonna be hard to feel the sweet spot with this ball so you're not gonna know whether you hit the sweet spot or not so it's a little frustrating i guess but uh it's playable you can play with this balls so i think it's pretty good for maybe a simulator or uh, just for practice rounds, but I wouldn't really take it out for a for like a tournament or anything like that. I think uh, it will be you could like lose your feeling on on the putting, especially and some on the driving as as well, because it's it's important to feel the sweet spot on the driving. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next time.